How do you feel? Pain. My left leg's kind of feeling more numb than memory. I'm kind of feeling nauseous a little. Hey, you guys, I'm not ready. Looking good. Can't stop shaking. We are on our way to the doctor. It's our 39 week appointment. It's our. <laughs> it's, it's mine. <laughs> it's our. <laughs> well, I guess our baby. Yeah, me and the baby. It's my 39 week appointment, too. Is it? Anyway, I've been living in the same outfits the last like two weeks because I feel like I have nothing to wear. But I'm doing it. I'm I'm getting my membranes stripped today and I know it's super painful. Am I making a good decision? I have no idea, but I am doing it. I kind of just want the baby to be yeah, here. Yeah, so if it helps and it works, it works. I've had friends that will go into labor like two days later. And my sister did it with all four of her kids. Never helped her go into labor. She still went full term so I guess we'll just see what happens but my first week appointment when they checked my cervix so I was what 37 weeks I was 80% thinned out and I was what do you call it my brain's not working now dilated. I was dilated to a one which I know dilation like really doesn't matter and I was 80% stretched out and my OB said that for most people at 37 weeks, I was pretty far along to be 80% thinned out, which he didn't know I was gonna, if I was even gonna be that thinned out. He thought my cervix might be really tight, especially because I'm small and it's my first baby. But he's like, wow, you're actually looking really good. You're further along. He's like, I would be surprised if you went to your due date. He's like, I feel like you're gonna go early, but again, you never know. And that know. was two weeks ago, right? That was two weeks ago. Then when I went last week, cause I'm at weekly appointments now, when I went last week, I was dilated to a three, and then he didn't really tell me how much my cervix was thinned out. But anyway, I was dilated to a three. I was looking really good. And then just like within the last couple of days, I've had like a ton of contractions. I've been having like some Braxton Hicks and stuff, but I mean, I guess, is it still Braxton Hicks? I don't know. I don't really know these things. I'm learning, but I've been having a lot of contractions and actually like last night I was like- I thought we were going to the hospital Yeah, I kind of thought I was going to cause it hurt more than it has. But then my sister's like, you'll know when you're going into labor. And I kind of thought it was starting cause it was, pretty painful and then I ended up sitting up after a while I didn't start tracking the time yet because I was like dead asleep and I was just tired but I got up I sat up in the bed and then after like five minutes it just stopped and so obviously again at night when you're resting and your body's relaxed you're gonna feel it more so I definitely feel it a lot when I was sleeping but even before we went to bed I was having contractions like for a while but it wasn't like super painful and I feel like I couldn't really tell if it was like coming and going it just felt like it was just coming constantly forever so I don't know this is a whole new experience so we'll see what happens I can always tell it was a bad night because I'll wake up and I'll have 300 TikToks that Michaela sent me because <laughs> you've just been on your phone all night yeah for like two hours it pretty much happens every night it's pretty awful I can't really <laughs> sleep anyway we just got to the doctor and maybe we'll do a little recap after and I can talk about how stripping my membranes went. We'll see how it goes. I'm really terrified because everyone says it hurts and it's probably gonna hurt all day and I'm gonna have contractions all day, but I have them anyway, so. I'm not excited to watch because I don't like that <laughs> kind of stuff. Uh, okay, well, wish me luck. Here we go. Good luck. Okay, so we just got home, got some panda, I got my kids meal. Got your apple crisps. Eh. I want orange chicken. We survived. Orange chicken fried rice. No baby yet. No baby yet, but got my membrane stripped. It actually wasn't that bad. It's just obviously uncomfortable, but everyone was making me feel like I was gonna die or something. <laughs> I got through it. I guess I've been through harder things, so it really wasn't that bad. So anyway, we'll see if it does anything. It says, what, up to 48 hours usually is when it can cause you to go into labor if it does anything. So we'll see if it works. If she'll come in the next day or two, I'm having like contractions right now. So hopefully good things, sending all the good vibes our way. Can't believe this is happening. You guys, we're gonna have a baby. And if we don't have a baby in the next couple of days, we'll have a baby on the 28th. <laughs> I mean, it could take her a while to come out, but yes. I'm being induced the 28th. So she's coming soon, we're so excited. Doctor's appointment was great. Baby's head's down, we're ready to go. Okay, you guys, we're on our way to the hospital. 2 a.m. Jonas called it. He's literally like, no, you can't go <laughs> in until 2 a.m. and you have to have your baby on the 21st because it's the first day of officially being fall. 
It's just a cool day to have a baby. Uh, the fall equinox. Anyway, I was hurting like all day today because, well, I guess yesterday because I got my membrane stripped. And then I woke up in the night and was like hurting, but I didn't know if it was bad enough. So I sat on my phone for like an hour and then I was like, I'm going to download an app. And I guess I'm just gonna track it. And then like every like four to five minutes I was having contractions and it's been painful. And then I was like, let me just try standing up and see if that makes it stop. And then Jonas, like I woke him up. So he went to the bathroom, I was standing there and then still had contractions. I just started getting ready. I'm like, yeah, it's time to go. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm gonna go with the bathroom. And I turned the light on, which normally I just like go pee in the dark. And thankfully I did, cause I, I, put a padding because I was lightly bleeding from getting my membrane stripped and what happened oh yeah I had like a lot of blood TMI there's some stuff there was yeah so we're going in so hopefully hey no traffic <laughs> yeah hopefully I don't get sent home I don't think I will but I guess you never know so yeah. anyway wish us luck you guys I'm so terrified I actually thought I'd be a lot more scared that I'm feeling right now, but it might feel more real once I'm like sitting in the bed and things are actually like happening. I don't know, but I'm so scared, but so excited. It's gonna be weird. Like we're gonna have a baby and I'm like, I don't feel like I'm ready yet. Can we have another day to just do something? But then I can't really do anything cause I'm hurting and I'm just sitting there anyway and I'm in pain. So anyway, here we go you guys. Okay, hey everybody, it's 4 a.m. I'm gonna give you a little little room tour. This is pretty sweet. We got Michaela's spot. <laughs> How you doing? I'll come back to you. Got some windows, got a bed, got a TV, a chair. This is pretty nice. How do you feel? Pain. <laughs> okay, epidural's in. How was it? Wasn't that bad. You did pretty good. I was freaking out. And I was shaking like crazy. It was honestly probably harder for me because I don't like needles. You took it like a champ. Did I? Yeah. So now we wait, right? Your left leg's kind of feeling more numb than my right. I'm kind of feeling nauseous a little. I feel like I should like eat something. Hi, you guys, I'm not ready. I mean, I'm ready, but I'm so scared. You excited? I'm excited. Okay, it's 6 a.m. Doing good. We're just kind of taking a little nap. Uh, doctor came in said you're progressing right mm -hmm. my water's broke water's broke so now we're just waiting 7 a.m saw the sunrise still waiting how you doing i can't really sleep yeah me either i want to sleep but i just like i'm so anxious that i can't you know yeah i'm just nervous because when she comes i'm like am i gonna get sleep i mean i'm sure she'll sleep so i'll be able to like get some sleep but i'm just Nervous because I haven't had a good night sleep in a long time. 8 a.m. We're dilated <laughs> to a seven. Took a break for Jello. I asked Jonas to feed me because it's like weird being sideways and trying to like eat with the spoon. I couldn't like get it in my mouth right. So feeling great. The epidural's taking away all the pain. So they said that I'm doing really great. I'm dilated to a seven. And they said that's really good because I'm just doing everything on my own. So crushing it, crushing it. So they have lots of windows and it's really cool. And the windows are open. They got a good sized couch and bed for Jonas and the room's like really big. So it's awesome. And then the menu is like bomb. We got pancakes, waffles, breakfast served all day. Like, look at this menu. Freaking amazing. The only menu I can have right now is this top one, because I can only have liquids. So this is all I get to have. Ooh, I could have ice cream. Okay, it is 9.30. Michaela is at a 10. 10 centimeters, right? Dilated and things are looking good and we are now just waiting they said they're gonna call the ob and probably have her start pushing in like 30 minutes or so so looking good she has the shakes mm -hmm. 
hours later we've got a cute little baby Let's see just sleeping little charlotte lottie jane okay how was it it was really hard <laughs> it was pretty miserable i was so determined to not have a c-section and i didn't so that was awesome, but I pushed for three hours. Yeah, started pushing at 1030. Yeah, right. so from, and then baby was born 145. So a little that over three hours. Yeah, and her head, they could see her head and it was just really hard for me to push and I was starting to get so tired. And so he was like, my OB was like, do you wanna, wait, what is it called? My brains, I'm so tired. The little vacuum thing? Yeah, the vacuum. Yeah. Or, Sorry, my elbow's you like... know, possibly C-section. So obviously I didn't want to do either of those, but you know, you got to have a plan B and C. So mm -hmm. I decided to go with the vacuum and we got her out. So... Yeah, it was scary. It that. Was and now her head scary. is a little, a little cone shaped. A little cone head, yeah. Because the, it's like, it was like a plunger thing. <laughs> I know, I feel so bad. I'm like... I know, I... I felt really, I was really sad, but, but she, she got out, she's happy, she's sleeping now, we've been holding her, and she drank a little bit of milk, right? Colostrum, yeah. Colostrum, yeah, she latched on, so, yeah, it was kind of scary, it was a long process, but you, you did awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Did really I good. so hard, was it weird seeing me push? <laughs> it and was like, weird. I didn't really scream that much till like the very end, mm -hmm. trying to get her out with the cone thing. So. Yeah, and then... So no C-section, and he said I didn't really tear that much. So yeah, was really good. only tore a little bit, yeah. so... She had a bigger head, so I think that was just the hard issue, is her head was stuck under the pelvis or something. Yeah, your pelvic bone. My pelvic bone, and I felt like as soon as he started doing the vacuum, I could feel her suction up, like, right underneath. So I was like, I don't think she would have come out. Yeah, yeah, she's... A little on the smaller side, she's six yeah. pounds, but six pounds, twelve ounces. She has a big head. And Twenty inches. I don't know. I can't remember. I don't know if it says I can't it. Remember it doesn't say up there. No. Yeah. So we, we survived, you guys. We survived. <laughs> we survived. I, I survived. Kayla survived. We got our first post a delivery meal. Some yeah, in and out. Chloe got us in and out. Our friends Sarah and Elg delivered us crumbles. Got us some cookies. And finally eating food, because what, it was like one of, well, one o'clock was kind of when I woke up, and then we came here at two o'clock, and I literally haven't, like, hardly slept or eaten since this was my first meal, and it's at, what, like four o'clock? It's 4.37, and I just had my first meal, so I was so hungry, but I'm here, and I did it. We got a beautiful girl. She looks mm -hmm. just like Jonas. She does. <laughs> She's got dark hair. She but looks Jonas, like my baby picture yeah, at least. Jonas kinda Not had me dark right now. Hair, and then he, his hair kind of fell out and went platinum blonde. I mean, I was, uh, what do they call it? Like a toe head. My whole family's been toe heads and Jonas turned into a toe head. Just had dark hair and he was born. So we'll see what happens, but she's so cute. Hey, little baby. Giving birth was seriously like, the wildest thing, like it was the pretty hardest wild. thing I've literally ever done. Jonas cried. I said, Jonas, do you think you're gonna cry? And he's like, no. He cried and it was really cute to see him cry. So like Jonas just, you well, never I wasn't, get emotional. I wasn't crying, I just had tears no, in my I eyes. Crying. I wasn't crying. It was cute, it's okay to cry. I was crying. Hi little girl. Crying. All right, it's 10 o'clock, mom and the baby are over there say hi doing good baby's been eating or drinking at least latching on uh, we had family come over and we've had 
nurses and doctors come in baby looks good and yeah it's been kind of a stressful day but i've got a cool bed right here got my minky blanket and Jonas my, has been such a good dad i've been trying i don't know how much i can do but yeah well you look good as a dad I'm like mm, he's hot mm. We saw baby's first sneezes, <laughs> so that was cool. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna sleep tonight because we're both like, neither of us want to go to bed and like leave, like not watch the baby, you know? So. Oh, we've literally got no sleep. Yeah, we've got no sleep because we came in at 2 a.m. today and we got like a few naps in here and there since then. So, I don't know, we're gonna try and get some sleep, but we're also gonna, Keep an eye on the baby. I don't know, we'll juggle it. Do we love oh, Becca? Right there. Do we love Aww. Becca? Is Becca the best? Aww. Is Becca your <laughs> is Becca your grandma? Yeah. I'm like yeah. right here. Is Becca your is it Becca? <laughs> we'll say third grandma. Third Becca's grandma. Third no, like grandma. let's not make anyone feel laughed <laughs> out. Oh, this is so cute. She's just sniffing. She's like asking you, what is this? And she's like, I'm good. You getting out of there, Melo? Okay, it's day, what day is it? Three? Day three. Four. Oh, it was four. Wait, really? Day four, yeah, it's Sunday. Do we have her on Thursday or Friday? Thursday. Oh, that's pretty good. That's gone by fast, actually. Sort of, I guess. Well, it feels long, but that's crazy. It's already been four days. Mm hmm Okay, give us an update. Well, Boobs are starting to hurt. I think milk's coming in. So that's good. Breastfeeding's definitely been hard. Breastfeeding's been terrible because the baby's just kind of picky and she fusses and cries a lot. And, and I have small nipples. <clears throat> so <laughs> so it's not like a whole lot for her to latch on to. Sometimes she doesn't want to latch and sometimes she will. And it's like if we do it every, we try and do it every like two to three hours, but then sometimes it takes an hour. So it's been hard to sleep at night and it's kind of a two person job. Yeah, so, but I actually got <clears throat> sleep because Jonas's mom's here. They're actually here right now. Jonas's mom and sister's here and Jonas's mom has been awesome to come help. Do you guys want to say and... hi? <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and uh, Elaine will get up in the night and watch her. So it was really great to have sleep because I did not sleep at all in the hospital. I could not sleep. And I was in so much pain from pushing for three hours. And <laughs> then, yeah, that was rough. So then they, I don't know if we, if I talked about it, but I've been having kind of high blood pressure. So when I got home, they're just like, rest, don't do anything. Don't really go on your phone. And that was like really stressing me out because <laughs> I've had so many people reaching out. And then I just feel like. I don't know. I just feel like a hot mess. But now that I got sleep, I've been doing a lot better. So it was mm -hmm. good that Elaine was here to help. So grateful to have family here. And she's been cooking, made us chili. We got French toast this morning. And then we've had people from our church come and bring us food, which has been awesome. So we're just getting spoiled over here and trying to enjoy just every minute of the newborn phase. Watching lots of movies, trying to not have high blood pressure because you can get preeclampsia a week after giving birth, which is crazy. I did not know that. So that's what they were just wanting me to like look out for. So other than that, we're doing great. We're trying our best. I think the, ba I think the baby's having fun. <laughs> I think it's funny though because... She likes sleeping. Because all, all of Jonas's friends said, oh, the newborn stage is so easy. There's not much you can do. Like... You just, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to sleep. And Jonas has actually been like up with me every single time I'm up. And I've just been like, my pregnancy was pretty rough. And so I just haven't been able to move a lot. So he's been helping me, helped me change my diaper <laughs> and <laughs> feeds me. I'm like, wow, I should be pregnant and give birth more often. Just kidding. I don't know. But so kind of funny because, you know, everyone's different. And I'm just like, well, you never know what's going to happen. But it's been a team effort. Yeah. <laughs> 
but it's been really good. Mello's been no help. She's actually been pretty upset with us. Yeah, it's not been fun. Because when she was she was cool at first. She was excited to see us because we've been gone for three days, and then she was smelling the baby. She and then when when Lottie started crying and fussing, Mello kind of ran away, and then. Michaela normally normally you give her too much attention and understandably haven't hasn't been able to give her any. So last night she came downstairs. We were like watching a movie. I was I think. sleeping right here on like my right side. Here. She jumps <clears throat> up on the couch right here and I'm dead asleep and hisses at my face. And I'm like <laughs> like it was like bad. It was yeah, kind of scary. Like she was mad. And then she <laughs> then she goes up right there into this little thing. And she curls up and she just starts growling. <laughs> Just to let Michaela know that she's mad at her. So I took her upstairs and I played with her. And she's gotten better. Better-ish. She'll little have bit, moments. But like you can tell she's letting... definitely, yeah. definitely jealous. Yeah, we'll let her and into she's her mad room and she'll be sweet. Like I was showering, this, I showered this morning and she was wanting in the shower and she was hanging out by me in the bathroom. So she has moments of being nice, but then other times I try and she just is really, really mad. So also we've been having people here and she's probably very overwhelmed. So I don't think it helps that it can't just be us with the baby and her getting used to it. So maybe once we get down to being alone here, eventually she'll just hopefully become Lottie's second mommy. <laughs> <laughs> that was the plan. But we'll see what happens. But anyway. life's good. Feels like that's the, yeah, I mean, today's Sunday, so it's like the end of our first week, first week of the newborn. Isn't it weird thinking, like, we just have a kid now forever? <laughs> <laughs> no giving it back. <laughs> it's just ours forever. Luckily, we got a cute one. Yeah, she was really cute. Very sweet. Anyway, I need to breastfeed, so I'm going to head out. So, thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, thanks everybody for watching, for tuning in. We'll keep you updated on Instagram and hopefully some more videos here if you're feeling up to it. Yeah, I'm trying. I just need a rest is the most important thing. Anyway, we love you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. We love Lottie, so see you guys on the next one. Bye. Are your are your nipples okay? Are they sore? Is this nipples funny? Nipples are good. <laughs>